Warning, please do not start any new exercise programs without consulting your doctor first. Stop exercises if you feel pain, if you feel unsafe, or if they seem too difficult to perform. Also, overexerting yourself or overworking your body can possibly lead to injury and or falls. This video will be focusing on functional mobility as it pertains to the aging adult. After watching this video, you will learn about what functional mobility is, how it impacts our day-to-day -day living, and things that we can do to make sure that we maintain the ability to participate in meaningful activities. Functional mobility tasks can be challenging for some people when looking at activity tolerance. The incorporation of different activities can be very helpful for you in improving your strength, mobility, balance, and safety to participate in self-care tasks. Some examples of activities include bed mobility, working on rolling bed level, as well as completing laying on your back to side lying to sitting edge of bed for activities of daily living is an essential way to work up to more advanced functional mobility. Bathroom transfer training. Toilet sit to stands with many repetitions. Stepping in and out of the tub or shower while it is dry multiple times can help increase endurance. As recommended by the Center for Disease Control, provides examples of chair rise exercises, which can also focus on endurance and strength. Some of the areas that help with functional mobility include endurance, strength exercises, and balance. Endurance. There are a few recommendations provided for older adults with regards to physical endurance. Older adults should do at least 150 minutes, 2 hours and 30 minutes a week of medium intensity or 75 minutes, 1 hour and 15 minutes a week of forceful intensity aerobic physical activity or an equivalent combination of medium and forceful intensity stretching and strengthening exercises. Stretching and strengthening exercises should be performed in episodes of at least 10 minutes and it is preferred that it should be spread throughout the week. Guidelines are just for older adults. When older adults cannot do 150 minutes of medium-intensity stretching and strengthening activity a week because of chronic conditions, they should be as physically active as their abilities and conditions allow. Older adults should do exercises that maintain or improve balance if they are at risk of falling. Older adults should determine their level of effort for physical activity relative to their level of fitness. Older adults with chronic conditions should understand whether and how their conditions affect their ability to do regular physical activity safely. Strength Exercises Functional movements can help with strengthening the body. Performing everyday tasks like climbing stairs, carrying groceries, and playing with your grandchildren. Difficulty of tasks can increase as the need for strength increases. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, recommends strength training for most older adults to help lessen the symptoms of the following chronic conditions arthritis, osteoporosis, diabetes, obesity, back pain, depression. Some exercises to consider. Squats. Spread your feet shoulder width apart. Bring your arms straight out in front of you as though you are reaching, but hold your arms still in front. Now lower yourself down as though you are going to sit down. Stop when you feel that your rear end is in line with bent knees or once you are in 90 degrees. Lunges. Keep your upper body straight with your shoulders back and relaxed and chin up. Pick a point to stare at in front of you so you don't keep looking down. Always engage your core. Step forward with one leg, lowering your hips until both knees are bent at about a 90 degree angle. Make sure your front knee is directly above your ankle, not pushed out too far, and make sure your other knee doesn't touch the floor. Keep the weight in your heels as you push back up to the starting position. Push-ups, against the wall, on your knees, or on your toes. Shoulder presses, reaching your hands in the air or with water bottles. Bicycle crunches, two to three sets of 10 to 15 reps, three times a week. Balance. Balance is the ability to maintain a controlled body position during task performance. To function effectively across environments and tasks, we need the ability to maintain controlled positions during both static, still, and dynamic, moving, activities, such as Tai Chi. Flexibility. 
Flexibility is important in decreasing injuries in the body. Maintaining healthy bones, muscles, and joints are important in maintaining the ability to live independently. Increasing your flexibility helps to reduce the risk of falls and potentially fracturing bones. Some ways that you can improve your flexibility is through stretching. When you are stretching, you want to make sure that the movements are slow and appropriate for a certain period of time deemed, such as holding for 20 to 30 seconds and then repeating two to three times. Some examples of flexible exercises include neck stretches, shoulder upper extremity exercises, arm chest shoulder stretches, etc. These images are all examples and positions that you can use to perform stretching exercises in the privacy and comfort of your own home.